Welcome to Electra Online. Continuing looking at word three of the first frame, frame one, uh, we look at the next four bits called the URA index, and they're located right here in word three. Remember that the first 10 bits were for the weak number, bits 11 through 12 was for CA or P code. Now, the URA index, which means user range accuracy, gives you a first preliminary idea of how the signaling space, how accurate the range potential error or the potential error in the range accuracy you can get using this URA index. So notice that the four bits allow you for 16 different settings and for each setting we have URA, URA index number 0 through 15 and notice that if it's set to 0 that the URA, again the user range accuracy, is somewhere between 0 and 2.4 meters. If it's set to 1, it's somewhere between 2.4 and 3.4 meters. If it's set to 2, it's somewhere between 3.4 and 4.8 and so forth. And eventually at the final setting, when it's equal to 15, it means that the URA index is greater than 6144 meters. So that's kind of a, an inaccurate range estimate. Now the purpose of that is in the pseudo range domain to allow you for more accurate RAIN and FOM calculations. Um, well, maybe not more accurate because that comes later when you're actually tracking the satellites, but to get an initial feel, initial range for it, you need to be able to start with some initial URA index. And notice that RAIN stands for Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring and FOM for Figure of Merit, which is a, a measure of the navigation accuracy. Now, when you get that URA index in one of those four bits, or as a combination of those four bits, I should say, then you take bit 23 of the TLM word, and that gives you an upper bound of URA multiplied times 4.42. If bit 23 of TLM word is set equal to 1, then you take the upper bound of URA and multiply times 5.73, and that's then the number you will use in your calculation, so that's where that comes from. Again, that just to get you an initial range error estimate, not at all what you're going to end up in in the end when you start tracking multiple satellites and you start uh, really getting into where exactly you are using GPS, but for an initial start on the range error estimate, you start with the URA index, you calculate it based on the TLM bit number 23, and then you start, then you go from there. Now you may look at these numbers and go, hmm, those numbers look pretty big, and you're absolutely right, they are very big, but for more modern satellites and more modern equipment, we can do way better than that. And so then the URA index was modified for later designs that give you much smaller ranges, and we'll show you what those look like in the next video.